I was going back between the CMAs yeah. and the game. But I got to tell you, it was a moment, 108 years in the making, 10 years, 10 innings, until almost 1 in the morning. Total, total team effort. I did the same thing as you, Robin. Right. Back and forth between the two. And the fans of Chicago are so excited. There they are, outside of Wrigley Field. I would say they called in sick to work. I think they're so happy they forgot they had jobs. So, <laughs> <laughs> they're extremely happy out there. And it was a heartbreaking night for Cleveland. Mm, yeah, yeah too bad for Cleveland. But they did have the Cavs this year. And Chicago has waited so long. Take a look at this morning's Chicago Tribune cover. It's at last. President Obama excited for Chicago. Of course, he's a White Sox fan, but he tweeted out in the middle of the night that he couldn't be happier for the Cubs. Want to come to the White House before I leave. Mm, oh, T nice. I know. <laughs> T.J. Holmes was there for the big moments last night, and he's joining us now from Progressive Field in Cleveland. Have you been to bed yet, T.J.? <laughs> I have not been to bed in two days, Robin, in <laughs> fact, but who cares? Yeah. After what we just saw, really, guys, I was in here for every single moment of that game last night, and we could not believe what we were witnessing. And why would we? We've never seen it before in our lifetimes. The guys with the C's on their jerseys and the little bear, they were the ones celebrating a World Series victory. Guys, they got it. They did it. After 108 years of waiting, they actually had to wait a little longer last night. They had to wait through a rain delay, and they had to wait through extra innings and wait through a moment where it looked like that curse was coming for them once again. The Cubs win the World Series! It's finally Next over. Play. It's over! No more talk of curses or billy goats or lovable losers. The Chicago Cubs are World Series champions, ending their century-long suffering and sending their city of Chicago into an all-out frenzy. The Cubs popped open champagne that had been sitting on ice for 108 years after they beat the Cleveland Indians 8-7 at Progressive Field in a heart-stopping Game 7 that went nearly five hours and included a rain delay and extra innings. After a leadoff home run, the Cubs endured a few missteps, but were able to build a 5-1 to one lead thanks in part to this home run bomb by Javi Baez. Here's a fly ball into right center. Back at the but things tightened up after a John Lester wild pitch allowed two Indians to score. Then, with a 6-4 to four lead in the eighth inning and their lights-out closer on the mound, this happened. A two-run homer that tied the game and drove Cleveland fans, including this one, wild. LeBron celebrating. World Series MVP Cubs second baseman Ben Zobra says at that moment, the curse crept in. I got to be honest, when they came back in the eighth, yeah. it was on my mind a little bit. To add to the drama, rain in the eighth inning. The tarp came out, the players and the fans went in before play resumed 17 minutes later. The teams ended the ninth inning tied, but in the top of the tenth, a Zobrist double and a Miguel Montero single allowed two runs to score. The Indians were able to put up one run in the bottom of the tenth, but down to their last out, this routine grounder made for an easy final play on what was a long, hard journey. It's, I cried. I cried like a little kid. And, um, you know, it, it's, it, it hadn't been done in a century and some. So, you know, to, to, to be a part of this is, it, it is definitely it's a blessing. The Cubs have their first title since 1908 and were playing in their first World Series since that infamous goat curse was put on them back in 1945. They're also the first team since 1985 to come back from 3-1 to one down to win the World Series. The city of Chicago, I love you. Thank you. Thanks for all the love. We're world champs, baby. Yeah. Cubs superfan Bill Murray got in on the celebration, emotional in the stands, honking a horn on the field, and enjoying the champagne in the locker room. It was very interesting to watch the Chicago Cubs fans, guys, many of them young, of course. So to watch a 30 year old vent 108 years worth of frustration was very interesting to see. But they let it all out here last night. And certainly the contrast to the Indians fans who have been waiting 68 years. It got to wait at least 69 now since their drought is going to continue. But I heard someone put it best. It was the Chicago Sun-Times, guys. They said this wasn't just the best thing since sliced bread. This was the best thing since 20 years before sliced bread <laughs> of what happened to us with the Cubs winning this thing.